somebody sent this to me and it's so cute. <laughs> CJ said, Daddy, when I'm going to see you, he said, I don't know when. He says, <laughs> baby Chris said, we'll figure it out. That boy looked just like his daddy for sure. So, yeah, like I said before, like a long time ago, not even a long time ago, like just two days ago, I said Chris always calls his child. I've seen Chris on FaceTime with his child. I've seen, you know, I've seen I, like people be seeing this man on FaceTime with his child. I saw him on FaceTime asking how um Chris, uh, Chris's baby brother legend was. He'd be asking for legend and all like this man is just peaceful and just wants peace. And it's like drama drama shorty just wants drama so all that oh he don't call his child dead in that he does he always contacts his child and his child wants to see him asking when i'ma see you so basically you have a mother who is keeping her son away from the father and the and the son wants to see the dad and i'ma just leave it right at that because there's nothing you can say when a child says he wants to see his father when i'ma see you that's what he's asking for because he misses his father, but you're selfish and because you put your feelings ahead of your child, you're going to strip your child away from their wants and their desires and you're going to strip them of their father and, you know, you're going to basically put your feelings ahead and remove the father away when a child clearly wants to see their dad. So, you know, the fans, they're not, they're not in, um, CJ's benefit. They just like Queen Nyja. They don't care about CJ and his feelings because if they did, they would encourage their fave. They would flood their fave and say, let CJ see his dad because CJ wants to see his dad. If they really cared about CJ, that's what they would do. But they are so bitter and so nasty, just like her. They are just going to, you know, say, oh, no, you need to keep him. Nah, but the baby wants to see his dad, though. So what about it? Keep him for what? The baby begs to differ. He wants to see his dad. B A. B Y M A M A. This goes out to all my baby mamas. I got love for all my baby mamas. But see, this is not the type of baby mama that Fantasia is like peaceable, nice, all that. Cause she got a good relationship with her baby daddy. This for the bet the bitter betties. All right. So look, check it, baby mamas. Guess who all the petty ish affects the most? Your kids. And kids aren't fools. They eventually get hip. CJ got hit. So when you do things out of hatred for their dad, remember, they just might grow up and start to hate you. So basically, Chris was like, when am I going to see you? And his dad is like, I don't know. And baby Chris is like, we'll figure it out. That that baby is smart. He knows. His he knows his mama bitter. He knows that. He said, we'll figure it out. He know, he know that his mama's not letting him see his dad because that mommy hates daddy. That's why. He knows for a baby, for a child, five, six years old to say, we'll figure it out. What you mean? When you, when you say, we'll figure it out, that means there's difficulty, there's conflict, there's issues, and you got to figure it out to make it work. And so he is already peeping and getting hip to the fact that him and his mother... Him, his mother and his father, his mama, basically is preventing him, him from seeing his dad. And it's a difficult thing because she's keeping him with her. And so he's saying, we'll figure it out because he realizes that he she's keeping him away from him. And that's why he said, when I'm going to see you. And then Chris is like, I don't know, honey. And he's like, we'll figure it out because his mama is holding him hostage. And, it's, and that's very evident. And so he's like, we'll figure it out. We'll see when she'll stop being bitter pretty much that's basically what he's saying i'm just saying so like when you do this to the kids when you act petty and when you show hatred for the father just know that they just might end up growing up hating you but taking away that relationship and when they get old enough like 13 14 i think or i don't know 18 18 i don't know the age when they can decide who they want to go with Adios, they're going to say deuces to you and go to their dad because you you stripped them of of of, of so many so much time and they're going to not like you and they're going to want to be up under their dad all day. So the, for the benefit of the child, it's best to just co-parent healthy and leave let that hurt go. Like you got to let that hurt go and like let it go and don't be bitter Betty, be a happy Betty and co-parent. You know what I'm saying? Co-parent effectively. And that's it. That's it and that is all.